Hello guys, welcome back to Inspired to DIY. In today's video, I'd like to share how I was able to make a side table using boxes from Amazon. Stay tuned for the end result and let's get into it. This is the box I'll be using for the project and I will be using two of them. And to begin, I'll go ahead and duct tape the bottom part and make sure that it is well secured. A list of all the items used for this project will be found in the description box down below. Don't forget to check it out. Also went and glued the flaps from the inside to make sure that they all stay together. To secure the bottom part of the box, I'm using foam board that I cut into sides and I'll go ahead and glue it down. I then glued the two flaps on the side of the box. I then glued one of the longest side of the flaps by cutting it to size and glue it inside of the box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next DIYs. I then went and took a second box that is about the same size as the first one and I repeated the same step as before. Now that the box is already, I'm gonna use some E6000 as well as some hot glue to glue both of the boxes together. some clips to make sure that they stay together since the glue is gonna take a while to dry I didn't use some white duct tape to make sure that the boxes are staying together at every corner that they meet moving along I went on and got some white acrylic paint and painted the inside of both of the boxes. duct tape in the inside where the two boxes meet. To making our doors I'll be using this strong board from Walmart and I'll go ahead and cut it to size to make sure that it fits both of the boxes perfectly I then went and covered the two boards with this nice silver contact paper
first I'm using A6000 and also hot glue to glue down the board to the flaps on each side of the boxes. I then we put it that same step on the opposite side. To make our project more appealing, I'm gonna go ahead and glue down those two pieces that I got from the back of an old bookcase to it. I then went and cut to size the same contact paper for the side of our table. Our table rise up a little from the floor I'm using this decor that I got from Dollar Tree and I'll be using four of them that I'll be gluing down using some E6000 and hot glue and a little on pin them with white acrylic paint. So drying, I then took some foam board that I cut into size and covered with contact paper to make shelves for the inside. I'll be using this contact paper that I got from Walmart. It's actually taupe, but it does look like blush pink and I love it. decorating a piece I'm using this gold placement that I got from Walmart I have actually used it on a previous project I'll leave the link to that on the description box below do not forget to check it out meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and place the placement in the middle and make sure that it is centered before I cut it in the middle I then went and used some hot glue to 
glue it down onto the piece. handles I'm using those crystal knobs that I got from Amazon I'll be using a 6000 and also hot glue to glue it down in the middle of each of the side of the placemat sheet of gems that I got from Dollar Tree and I'll be tracing the corners that are cut for the bottom part of a table. how it turned out and I am so amazed how I was able to take two empty boxes from Amazon and turn it into home decor into something beautiful glamorous I was able to set it at an empty corner at my house I love how it turned out if you guys do share the same opinion go ahead give this video a big thumbs up go ahead and share with family and friends and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my next projects thank you guys for watching and see you next time Bye.